Hi everyone, and welcome to the next video on movement analysis. This is that jelly baby lesson. Now, it might be you've done this lesson once in class with your student, or as a teacher you've taught this lesson because you've seen it online. I want to go through how to do this lesson because I think sometimes it's a fun lesson, but it can still add to the confusion of planes and axes. If you haven't seen my earlier videos on planes, and there's another one on axes, Maybe watch those first, then come back to this one. Okay, so what you need for this lesson is you need six jelly babies, you need a sharp knife, you need three small bits of paper or post-its, and you need six cocktail sticks, essentially. So the sheet, I'll photograph and add it to this video so you can copy it, and you can then make your own sheet or add to it as well. Okay, so if you do this at home as a student, you can set yourself up, or if you're doing it as a teacher, you can help maybe use this video to help you. So, first, you're just going to follow the instructions. So all you're going to do is you're going to copy the first one, which is lay the jelly baby flat, so on its back, and cut through its belly horizontally. Okay, so you're going to cut him, so you've then got a top half and a bottom half. Now, one of the things the students, I think, at this point find confusing is that they often then lay their jelly baby on their sheet and they've got a jelly baby with a top half and a bottom half. And that's not really what a plane is. Um, and I'll kind of have to build that in in a second. So I'll leave jelly baby there for now. So then the second one says, lay the jelly baby on its side. And cut it from head to toe. So you're going to cut him, so you're going to cut the front half and the back half off. I'm using quite a sharp knife because it is a bit of an effort otherwise, but in class you probably don't want to do that. So now you've got a front half and you've got a back half of your jelly baby and you're going to put that on your sheet. So you divide your jelly baby up. It's a tricky one because they don't always stand up. There you go. So you've got a front half and you've got a back half. And then the last one, you're going to cut, lay it on its back, it says, and cut it from head to feet down the centre, so through their belly button. So you're going to cut the jelly baby through its belly button. So you're now going to have a jelly baby with a left side and a right side. Okay, so often that's what happens. So the students, great, they've done their cutting, they've had fun, they've probably eaten a few jelly babies. And then you've got your jelly babies like that. And then they're like, well, what does that mean? Like, I've now got a body that I've cut in three halves. So at this point, you probably want to add in your sheet of paper, which is your plane. Then it starts to make a bit more sense. So let's do the first one, which is our horizontal transverse plane. Okay. So at this point now, we've got a jelly baby, it's cut in half, and he's got a plane of movement through his body, and he can turn in that direction. Okay, so let's leave him there. So I'll introduce those planes as quick as you can in your lesson. And then let's do this one. This is the frontal plane. So let's stick him together using a bit of paper. So now we've got a jelly baby, he's got a frontal plane, dividing his body in half, front to back, but the main bit is that it moves in line with the edge of that piece of paper. Okay. And the last one, we've got our sagittal plane. Okay, and this divides our left and our right hand side quite nicely there. And so this one, again, it follows the edge of the paper and allows forwards and backwards rotation along the edge. And I think I'd emphasize that to the students as well. Now the next stage, you want to get your next three jelly babies. And for this one, you're going to look at doing your uh, axis. So you get your jelly baby and you get your cocktail stick 
and you place it through his head to create the vertical or longitudinal axis. And you go there. So the students, they get this bit a little bit easier because they can physically see and they can turn their jelly baby on that axis. So that's that one. The next one, we're going to do our sagittal axis. So for this one, we're going to go straight through the belly button. Front to back. And again, now we've created our sagittal axis. And we're going to twist it from side to side. And then the last one, we're going to create our frontal axis. And I think this is the one the students find the most confusing because it says frontal, but it goes through its side. Okay, so the frontal axis goes through its side and creates forwards and backwards movement. Now, at this stage, it's nice to get them to photograph the sheet so they can see their pieces, maybe just manipulate the bits of paper so they can have the halves and halves. And then the ne next part I like to do after that is to combine the two. Because I think when you combine the two and start actually manipulating, so you've got your horizontal plane and your vertical axis, like so, you've now got both bits in motion. So you can see when you turn your vertical axis, you can see the plane moving horizontally around the edge of the plane. Okay, so that's our horizontal plane, vertical axis. And then the next one, we've got our frontal plane. And again, we're gonna put that through, our sagittal axis through. So it goes through the jelly baby, through the paper. So we've now got a sagittal plane, which we can move again along the edge of that. And we can create cartwheel type movements. And here's our frontal plane and our sagittal axis. And the last one we've got is our sagittal plane. And for this one, again, 90 degrees to the plane, the axis goes. And for this one, we've got our sagittal plane and we've got our frontal axis. And this is our court creating somersault type movements, forward somersaults, backward somersaults, okay? Right, I hope that's helped uh, either learn this topic or teach this topic. Good luck. So as promised, here's the sheet that I use when I'm doing that lesson. Uh, feel free to like copy this sheet and use it for your lessons. Uh, again, check out the other videos on planes and axes. I've also got other ones on levers and there'll be more topics coming along. Best of luck.